Oh, it's my YouTube break channel. It. She will break it. Okay. I am not. I, I won't let her she hold has, it. She has radiation. Okay, I won't let her hold it. Yes, so. radiation does break every device. I'm just saying that I'm very proud of myself because I'm actually out tonight. I'm not at home by myself. I'm out with my best friends. I mean, I don't have many friends, so she could be my best friend then. With my, own, with my only friend and her... I don't know. And someone... I love butler. What do you call butler? Butler. 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 And we are in the last row of the Regent's Theatre. And we are about to watch oh, a you're comedy love show. It. Yes. So that's here. Yeah. Yeah. I've been right. practicing. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this is where we are. The chatty man. I got you. I got you. Please go in the back room with you. Listen, Mommy, sorry, I washed her yesterday. Did you wash the cat? Yeah. Cool. I mean, you know, you use the hose and. Mommy, um... sorry, okay? You forgive Mommy? I mean, the thing is, you have to realise that you need to put them on the top shelf in the dishwasher. If you put them <laughs> in the bottom shelf. I mean, washing machine, they do throw up a lot as they go round and round and round. <laughs> we stop doing that. And I'm walking home from a really nice, fun comedy night at the Regent Theatre. I already forgot the name of the comedian, <laughs> but he's very famous. Um, I'll put it down there. It was a long day because I also had a Christmas concert earlier. All the afternoon in the middle of Sydney somewhere really far away. But now, very late at night, I'm walking home and I feel like I'm taking advantage of Sydney's nightlife, which is unusual for me because usually I hide at home like a tortoise in my shell. And I caught myself earlier today being a little bit negative, as in talking about engaging in negative talk about what happened and why I'm not playing in a certain orchestra anymore. Hello to the blog. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Somebody saying hello. Um, because obviously I'm famous and they want to be in the movie. So yeah, so I caught myself just telling my story about my ex and why I'm not playing in that orchestra anymore in like a negative way and like he replaced me with a younger model and while I was saying this I was like why am I saying this this is actually not even true because yeah I left him and I know that at the beginning when he was dating he was actually worried about the fact that she was so much younger and he like he, it's not like he wanted to be with someone younger and that's why our relationship ended not at all it was because we were arguing all the time and we just weren't a good match. So that's the truth. Yet, I would say stuff like that. And while I said it, I was like, why? And then the girl that I told that to, she was like, oh, yeah, I had a similar experience. And also my, my ex left me for someone else. And I know how you feel. And then it was like this whole engaging into that negativity. Speaking of negativity, look how pretty it is. So it's actually really pretty here. So, and I realized this is stupid of me. And this is against everything that I've learned and everything that I've actually thought I've grown so much as a person and that I'm such a happy person now. So this goes against that, right? I realized this is not who I want to be anymore. And, and I set myself the challenge to be very positive and not talk about like not looking for like pity from other people and like not making myself a victim because i'm a powerful woman i create my own reality right from now on i'm not gonna do that anymore <clears throat> the challenge is for one week being super positive bringing positive things to people so not that combined whinging that's also a little bit of a cultural thing for me because in Austria we do that in order to connect with other people. Like if we like our small talk is always whinging about something and complaining. 
like oh it's so cold today and oh the economy is so bad and just like pointing out negative things and then making it worse by connecting over bad things and it is a cultural thing but it's also not helping anyone so for one week now nothing negative everything will be positive and there is nothing to complain about anyway i'm living exactly the life i want to live i want to live so if anything i should be grateful and there is no reason to complain i mean look i'm in sydney it's beautiful this is where i want to be and yes the rehearsal that i had today before the concert um, in the afternoon was really really long and uh, it was tempting to whinge because uh, the girl I was playing with who is lovely she was really tired and she was like oh, I'm so tired I'm so tired so immediately I was like yeah I'm tired too and I was like hold on I'm actually not even tired today <laughs> so why am I whinging with her like yes I could say oh that I'm sorry that you're that, that, you're, that you're tired but come on we can do this for example be saying something positive like this so this is um, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be yeah not engaging in negative talk especially not um, negative talk that originates from me for absolutely no reason so power peace happiness <laughs> I came here to find the turtle there is at least one here I think actually two and it's somewhere in there and I'm gonna find it. I will find you and I will film you. <laughs> Lots of water dragons, but no turtle yet. And I mean, I didn't come here for the water dragons. Almost as cute as a turtle, almost. I can see that you're trying very hard, aren't you? Can I pet you? Come here. You're gonna bite me, hey? I've been bitten by smaller lizards, so I'm not gonna take my chances with this guy. Off he goes. exact spots nine years ago or ten years ago ten years ago I think um, I got proposed to by my at that time boyfriend which is not the ex I keep talking about but the one before and yeah he asked me if I want to marry him and I did because I was stupid <laughs> and yeah so that was a that's a story for another time I'm gonna tell you at some stage but at the moment it has no significance to me, I'm just enjoying the spot and my lizard friend. And he's staring at me and checking me out. He's gonna propose too. Are you gonna propose? Hmm? No, he's wiser than that. So anyway, I just wanted to add to last night's um, story that I'm gonna be more positive and that I'm not gonna engage in negative talk, self-talk or like discussing negative things with others that my plan was in that one year that I had in Melbourne that I'm gonna work on myself and for one year and then I'll be 100% who I want to be and I'm gonna be perfect but of course this is not how it works I really yeah I'm very aware of that now because you always have to work on yourself it's never finished isn't that right Lisa so yeah you just have to Keep improving yourself and the good thing is if you realize that there's something off and you're doing something that's not healthy and that's not right that you sort of observe it and not even judge yourself but just observe it and realize this was not who I want to be and I will do better next time simple as that so yeah I'm still growing I'm still not perfect but constantly working on myself because I just want to live my best life. I just want to be happy. There's no, no good reason to be unhappy and to be complaining the whole time. OK, 
Okay, so now I'm gonna find the turtle and then I will have a cup of tea and then I will head home to do some more work. I've been practicing in the morning, but I need to do much more practicing because I'm leading the viola section of a new orchestra tomorrow. The rehearsal is tomorrow morning and there's still some pieces that I haven't practiced. So I better do that. But first I'm gonna enjoy this amazing place a little bit longer. This is like um, so zen and really paradise in the middle of the city. Unbelievable, so cool. Hello, Ibis. So let's find the turtle. Where is it? Another water dragon. But that doesn't count. They are very easy to find. They are everywhere. The turtle usually sits on this rock, but not today. Made another lizard friend. Hello, lizard. Want to give me a kiss? I think no. That's probably he's probably gonna bite me. <laughs> it is crazy hot, and I don't have sunscreen on. I'm probably getting sunburned, and I'm also sweating into my bra as if there was no tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, too much information. But yeah, I'm still looking for that turtle. I'm about to give up, which is so unlike me. I have to go back home and do some practicing. Like I have things to do. But those turtles are completely disrespectful to everything that I have to do. <gasps> there! Found one! Making a long neck and coming out. It was all worth it. Just when I was about to give up. So if that doesn't tell us that one should never give up, there's always hope. <laughs> That's what the turtle was teaching me. Oh, it's a good turtle. You are. Okay, I'm totally satisfied. <laughs> and now I can go home and do some more work. not to step on them there are so many excuse me lizards may i pass here ah, thank you thank you and even at the exit i know it's not super healthy but it's so hot so yeah it's a little treat for myself. <laughs> I better get a move on because it suddenly looks like there's a big storm coming. The weather can change really quickly here in Sydney. It's, I think it's not tropical climate here, but it's close to it. And yeah, sometimes it's, yeah, it can change real quick. It's already quite a bit cooler, which might also be because I'm eating ice cream, but it feels much colder already and i better get home because i am shit scared of thunderstorms <laughs> so now i look like a homeless person uh, my fingers are full of ice cream my pants are dirty so i'm doing the walk of shame now 